Today is January 2nd, 2020, first trading day of the new year. We're going to take a look at Tesla in this video, and also I'm going to show you a technique that I use to project some uh, potential price target. Tesla had another good day. It closed up $11.93 at $430.26. That's up 2.85%. Uh, As you can see, that uh, it gapped up at the end of 2019. It kind of pulled back a little bit, but right now it seems like it uh, still maintains its momentum to uh, move up. Today, uh, one of the analysts from the uh, firm uh, Canacore have up the target price for Tesla to uh, $515. We're going to take a look at the technique that I use to project some of the price target and see how close uh, some of those uh, target come to this new target by this analyst from uh, Canacore. Remember, we talk about this range here. There's a couple range. One is uh, this, uh, you know, this big uh, range here. Right, between the uh, 178 to uh, 389. Then the uh, other range is uh, this balance area we talked about, uh, the uh, 248 to uh, 389. And you can see uh, I have a couple of these uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, that extend up with the 200% uh, extension. Here I apply the Fibonacci retracement to uh, get the level up based on this big swing. And you can see that the uh, 1618 uh, have a uh, price uh, level of $520. And then the other one is this balance area. Okay, And I essentially just apply a uh, very notchy retracement from the uh, low to the uh, pivot high and extend that up. So at 1618, we have a uh, $477 and the uh, 200, we have 531. So you can see uh, these two levels here is uh, a little bit uh, above the uh, 515 target level. So uh, that's one of the uh, tools that I use, especially for a stock that is in a new high territory and there is no historical price level above that we could use as a uh, potential price target, a potential resistance level. So uh, that's one of the way to uh, get some uh, projection. And you can see that right now, so far the week, uh, it's sort of printing out a uh, hangman on uh, on the weekly chart. But uh, tomorrow is Friday, so we got another day. And it doesn't mean that uh, just because we see a hangman uh, candle doesn't mean that's going to be bearish. We still have to see some follow through next week. And uh, beginning of this month, January, Tesla is going to be start delivering the uh, Model 3 built in China, the Giga 3 factory. And also at the end of the month, uh, the uh, 29th of January, Tesla will uh, report the Q4 earning and also the 2019 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the earning. So uh, th those are the key things that to focus on in the coming week. Uh, I think there's going to be some debate on, uh, you know, will Tesla uh, meet the uh, the target number of uh, vehicle delivery, uh, target number that Elon put out between 360 to 400,000 uh, vehicle for 2019. Based on uh, Q3 delivery total, uh, Q4, uh, Tesla have to deliver somewhere around at least 105,000 vehicle in order to meet that 360. Uh, you know, 1,000, 360,000 uh, 60, uh, vehicle numbers. So we'll see how close that uh, Tesla will be able to hit that number. And also the other thing is uh, last quarter, Q3, Tesla have reported a uh, positive R margin of 4.1%. So it's also another key to watch is to make sure that Tesla maintain a positive margin and also maybe a beat that 4.1, you know, sort of increase the R margin, then that will tell uh, the market that Tesla is moving in the right direction to a more sustainable profitability. Good luck and Happy New Year. If you like the content in this video, give it a thumbs up and help me smash YouTube's algorithm and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also click that notification icon so you won't miss any future video from me. Thank you for watching and best of luck to you and have a great year.